100 women shoppers are chosen at random in market day. Their average weekly expenditure on food is found to be rupees 250 with a standard deviation of 40. For the market A, these three information actually available N1, sample size, X bar 1, sample mean and sample standard deviation. This is the case where population standard deviation or population standard deviations are not known. But the sample size is greater than 100. That means we cannot use t-test. This is the case of infinite degrees of freedom. So we are going to use z-test. Their average weekly expenditure on food is found to be Rs. 250 with a standard deviation of Rs. 40. The figures are Rs. 220 and Rs. 55 respectively. In the market B, were also 400 women shoppers are chosen at random. N2400, X bar 2220, S255. Test at 1% level of significance whether the average weekly food expenditure of the two population of shoppers are equal. We require to test whether the two means are equal or not. That means this is pure case of two take test. We do not require to prove any particular mean is greater than or less than the other mean. That means there is no indication that alternative hypothesis will be one tail. So this is not the case of one tail test because no specific direction of conclusion is there. So this is case of two tail test. Now null hypothesis very simple. Test at 1% level of significance, whether the average weekly food expenditure of the two population of shoppers are equal, yes, in all hypothesis, the average weekly food expenditure of the two populations of shoppers are equal sign HO mu 1 equals to mu 2 or mu 1 minus mu 2 equals to 0 alternative hypothesis Again, at the cost of repetition, I want to say that there is no direction for mu1 is greater than mu2 or mu2 is greater than mu1 like that situation. So, it is case of two tail test. So, the wordings will be the average weekly food expenditures. of the populations of shoppers are not equal. H it is H O and in this case alternative it is H A. Mu one is not equal to mu two that means mu1 minus mu2 is not equal to 0. Case is two tailed test. Read the question carefully. Read the sentence with the wordings related to hypothesis or alternative hypothesis more carefully and try to arrive at the right conclusion about whether this is the case of two tailed test or one tailed test. If the case is not one tail test, then be specific, the case is two tail test. Level of significance given to be 1%. That means alpha is 0 0.01. That means alpha by 2 is 0 0.005. 
as we are going to use that test, the degrees of freedom is infinite. So, directly critical value of that. Now, this is case of two tail test and 1% level of significance. It is 2.576. Now, calculated value of z. x bar 1 minus x bar 2 minus mu 1 minus mu 2. See, in the formula, when we substitute the values, we will substitute 0 as per the null hypothesis in the place of mu 1 minus mu 2. Why are we going to write this? For the purpose of calculation of confidence interval of mu 1 minus mu 2, we use the same formula placing the two-tailed critical value of z. That's why just we are writing this as a formality, you can say that. Divided by <coughs> S1 square upon N1 plus S2 square upon N2. Or say small sigma 1 square, small sigma 2 square can also be here. <coughs> 250 minus 220 minus 0 according to null hypothesis upon under root S1 square. Square of 40 is 1600 divided by N1 is 400 plus square of 220. What is it? 484 is it? No, sorry. Square of 55. Is it 2050? No, it is not 2050. It must be 3025. Yes. 3025 divided by again 400. Now just simplify. Be careful. 1600 divided by 400 that is 4. You can use memory plus sign. 3025 divided by 400 equals to then memory plus. Now memory recall and square root. Comparison of calculated value and critical value. Calculated value is greater than critical value. See the case. Calculated value is greater than critical value. So, the null hypothesis is rejected. And if the null hypothesis is rejected, the alternative hypothesis becomes a new conclusion. not equal. 